<clears throat> Hi artists, so today you're going to be making a piece of abstract non-objective artwork and what that means is that you're creating something that is not realistic looking so it doesn't look like it's from real life and you're using line, shape, and color to create a painting and it doesn't have to look like a person, a place, a thing. Um, and it's just shapes, colors, and lines, okay? So what you're gonna need for today, and by the way, that wasn't a completed piece, um, but you're gonna be creating a completed piece, and I'm just gonna reuse paper, because I'm a big fan of that, okay? So I'm reusing this paper here. Um, you're gonna need a Sharpie, okay? You're going to need, well, okay, first of all, if you don't have a Sharpie, anything that's waterproof will do. So you want to use a black Sharpie, but you can use a black oil pastel. You can use your black waterproof pen. Anything really that's waterproof because you're going to be using watercolor. All right, and then you're going to need a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can use anything with a straight edge to it. Okay, so anything around your house that has a nice straight edge. And then you're going to need to find something to trace for a circle, okay? Um, so this is actually just part of a dog toy that I'm using. You can use the lid to cottage cheese or yogurt or really anything, okay? All right. Last thing you're going to need, well, actually I didn't cover everything. Okay, so you need watercolors, a brush, and water. And then the last thing you're going to need is paper. Ideally, you would use watercolor paper. If you don't have watercolor paper at home, you can use cardstock. If you don't have cardstock, use a thick piece of drawing paper. And if you don't have a thick piece of drawing paper, um, use whatever you have, okay, my friends? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the beauty of this project is you're just gonna experiment and see how your artwork unfolds. So I'm going to just start making lines on my paper with my ruler. So nice straight lines. Remember, straight lines make geometric shapes. Okay, like triangles, rectangles, squares, Okay, etc. And I'm going to throw in a new vocabulary word for you. Have you ever heard of the word polygon? If you haven't, polygons are three or more sided geometric shapes. So tri a triangle would be considered a polygon. A rectangle would be considered a polygon. Okay. <clears throat> a nonagon, which is a nine-sided shape. Okay. All right. So I'm just making my lines. I'm not trying to make it look like anything. I'm just having fun making my straight lines, having them overlap, seeing what happens. Okay, no pressure. Sometimes when we make artwork that doesn't need to look a certain way, we relax more and it helps us be a little bit more creative actually because we're not worried about how our work looks. Okay, all right, so I've got a bunch of lines. Now I'm gonna throw some circles in here. Okay, and remember, Circles that are perfectly round are geometric shapes. If you want to get more than one lid to trace different sizes of circles, that's cool. You can do that. Okay. All right. Now, once you got your design how you want it, okay, if you want 
and you do not have to, you can throw in some organic lines. Remember, organic lines aren't straight, they're curvy, okay? So I'm gonna throw in a few organic lines. Remember, you don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can, okay? And one more, okay. Now I've got my design. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna experiment with some color mixing today and I want you to do the same, okay? So over on this side of your watercolor tray is actually a spot for you to mix colors, okay? So make sure your brush has a good hair day. Remember, watercolor's called watercolor for a reason. You're using lots of water, okay? So I've got my red there. I'm gonna mix my red with an orange to make a red orange, okay? And then one way that I like to cut, um, paint my shapes in is I like to actually outline them first because this helps me with staying inside the lines. So I'll outline them, oh, and then I'll shade them in, okay? Notice I have a good hair day with my brush. Um, one thing you might notice is if you paint in shapes that are right next to each other, the watercolors might end up mixing a little bit. So I'm actually going to paint shapes that are away from each other first and then let them dry and then paint the shapes that are in between, okay? So what I mean by that is I'm not gonna paint this shape because it's right next to this watercolor and they might mix because of the water. So I'm gonna paint this shape because it's there's some space in between them, okay? And that way they have a little bit of time to dry before I paint right next to them, okay? Now, if you mix a ton of colors together, just so you know, you're probably going to get some sort of brown, okay? A dark brown or a light brown, depending on what colors you use. So remember, I want you to keep that in mind, but you know, you're also experimenting as an artist and you might make colors you don't like and that you don't wanna use and you don't have to use them, okay? Now remember, there are certain colors that if you mix, you'll get secondary colors. So you know, if you mix blue and red, you're probably gonna get some variation of purple, okay? If you mix yellow and blue, you're gonna get some variation of green. And if you mix red and, um, wait, did I just, wait, did I say that correctly? I mean, yellow and blue, you're gonna get green. And then red and blue, you're going to get purple, okay? Um, so keep that in mind, all right? And, ooh. I was thinking this was black when I dipped my brush into it because it was so dark on the palette, but this is a nice purple. That's fun. Okay, and if you have your own watercolor set at home, you don't have to use the one in your art kit, so keep that in mind too. And you don't have to paint the entire painting, okay? If you wanna leave some areas white, you can, but you do wanna paint um, a fair amount of your painting, okay? All right, I'll answer any questions you have in Google Meet, and happy art making!